you want to know the secret to living a longer, healthier life? Well, it starts with what you put on your plate. Today on Rooted Longevity, I'm sharing the top 10 foods which are science-backed for longevity. These are foods you should add to your diet, inspired by experts like David Sinclair and Volta Longo and more. So let's dive in. First of all, why food? The first why food. So experts agree that what you eat plays a pivotal and fundamental role in slowing aging and preventing chronic disease. It could do that many different ways, whether that's activating longevity genes like sirtuins, supporting your gut or reducing inflammation. The foods in this list really do make a difference for your health span. And we're gonna go into that now. What is Rooted Health? So I'm here to bring you ancient wisdom and combine that with modern science to bring you the best of natural longevity so you can live a healthier, longer life. If that's important to you, don't forget to click subscribe because there'll be lots more coming. So first up on the list is something you'll all recognise. It's called broccoli, specifically cruciferous vegetables. These are recommended by experts like Dr. Walter Longo, who's one of the leading experts in longevity. And he's the writer of The Longevity Diet, which is a great book which you should read. Broccoli contains a compound called sulfurophane. It's believed to have anti-cancer properties boosts detoxification in the body and can fight inflammation. Now inflammation is believed to be one of the root causes of many diseases. So the key takeaway is to eat your little trees. Moving on to second place in the list, this is something Dr. David Sinclair absolutely swears by, and that is berries. Berries like blueberries. Berries are packed with polyphenols. Okay, so these begin life as plant defense chemicals, but they play a really crucial role in the health of your body and your immune system. Blueberries, for example, contain a high amount of something called resveratrol. Resveratrol is believed to activate certain longevity pathways, are believed to protect against oxidative stress. There's a saying, the darker the berry, the sweeter the fruit. And when it comes to resveratrol, that can be very true. Black grapes, for example, are very high in resveratrol, as in these little blueberries. Moving on from there, we've got lentils. So do you know what these are? Yeah. What are they? They're called lentils, and they're really good for you. What have you got around your mouth? Huh? What's around your mouth? I don't know. Lentils are one of my favorites, as they are with Brian Johnson. He eats lentils every day with part of his super veggie bowls, which I've tried, and it's actually not bad. I try and eat lentils as much as possible. I put them in soups. I eat them on their own, I make lentil dolls, but they're super cheap, they're packed with protein, they're loaded with fiber and plenty of nutrients. They're also one of the main major food groups that are eaten across the blue zones. If you don't know what blue zones are, we'll do a separate video on that and I'll leave a link in the description below with my thoughts on the blue zones. So keep an eye out for that link. Fourth place on the list is something else I use every day. That is extra virgin olive oil. Now, it's important you choose extra virgin and not just olive oil. The extra virgin tells you it's cold pressed and by mechanical means, meaning no chemicals have been used to extract the oils. It also means it's unrefined and it's not mixed with any other oils. Sometimes what you find when you buy olive oil is that it's actually part olive oil and part some of a cheaper, less healthful seed oil. So extra virgin olive oil wins the spot. Dr. Volta Longo highlights extra virgin olive oil as part of the Mediterranean diet. It's rich in polyphenols, monounsaturated fats, and antioxidants which support longevity and health span. Coming in in fifth place is another one of my favorites. It looks like a brain and it supports brain health. They are nuts. I've got a walnut here. Hopefully, you know what a walnut looks like. If not, you do now. Studies have shown that regular nut consumption over time can lower your risk of heart disease and cardiovascular risk. They're a great source of healthy fats and also contain an amount of protein. Walnuts, like the ones you've just seen me eat, are also rich in omega-3s which support brain health and inflammation. Making nuts a win-win and that's why they're placed on this top 10 list. Next up I want to speak about mushrooms. Now I haven't actually got any mushrooms in because I made a giant miso mushroom soup yesterday, which was fabulous. The mushrooms are something Dr. David Sinclair highlights. 
specifically because they're high in something called beta-glucans. It's believed that beta-glucans and other compounds found in mushrooms can fight against aging. And on top of that, they're an extremely good way of boosting your immunity. I also want to talk about garlic. I've also run out of garlic because the mushroom miso soup that I made was packed full of garlic as well. I do need to go shopping, but garlic contains something called allicin. And again, this is an anti-inflammatory property compound, which also boosts immunity. So if you notice, there's a common theme appearing here that a lot of these foods are anti-inflammatory foods, so they fight inflammation in the body, and chronic inflammation is a leading cause of disease. And they also boost your immunity at the same time, keeping you healthy and free of disease. That's a really important point to remember. Garlic is something Brian Johnson uses in a lot of his meals. Now I'm not saying Brian Johnson himself is an expert, but what he's done is surround himself with experts and make himself the subject of numerous trials to get the best results to put out to the public. So that's why I pay attention to Brian Johnson. He's a controversial figure, but what he's doing is releasing good information for free to the public whilst testing on himself and surrounding himself with a team who know what they're talking about. This next one's a little less specific. It's not one particular food, but I want to talk about fermented foods. In case you've lost track, fermented foods are coming in at number eight on this list. Although there is no specific order, these are just my top 10. Fermented foods are packed with probiotics which support good gut health. Gut health is likely linked to improved immunity within the body. It's the key factor for longevity. This is discussed in Dr. Bolter Longo's Longevity Diet book. It's also discussed heavily in a book called Fiber Fueled by Dr. Will B. I won't pronounce his full name because I will get it wrong, but I will leave a link to the book down below. Pretty much all the main experts agree that supporting the gut microbiome is crucial in healthy, long living people. Okay, we're approaching the end now. Um, if you're enjoying this video, please consider subscribing to Rooted Health. This is something I'm passionate about and with your support, hopefully we can take it much bigger. Second to last on this list is gonna be dark chocolate. That's right, you can eat dark chocolate and be healthy. The key is to make sure it is good quality dark chocolate and you're not making a pig of yourself. Dark chocolate, so at least 80% cacao, ideally higher, is rich in something called flavonoids. It's believed this can help reduce stress. That's one of the key elements and protect you against cellular aging. And in last place, it's actually not a food at all. It's also not a drink. It's complete abstinence, so fasting. Fasting, when done safely and correctly, which we won't discuss in this video, if it is something you're considering, please do research, speak to a doctor if you need to before starting any kind of fast, because they can be stressful on the body. But one of the main benefits of fasting when done correctly is something called cellular autophagy. Autophagy is a direct translation of the Latin word meaning self-eating. So essentially it's where your cells will destroy themselves in favour of repair or regeneration. Essentially, it's one of the body's own healing systems. When you're in a fasted state and the autophagy is able to increase, your cells identify any damaged cells. It then removes the toxins from those cells and destroys the damaged parts of the cell and either replaces the cell or repairs it. Fasting has been shown to inhibit mTOR, which is linked to certain cancers as well, and also activate pathways such as AMPK and other sirtuins. All of these combined are linked heavily with longevity. Okay, there you have it. That's my top 10 foods for longevity. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have found this helpful, please consider subscribing as we've discussed. That'll really help this channel grow and allow me to push out more information. I'm gonna leave you now with some photos of recent meals that I've made which contain variations and combinations of these foods listed above. So I hope you enjoy. And please leave a comment below on what you would change about this list, or what you would replace or what you would add. My name's Stuart, this has been Rooted Health. I hope you've enjoyed.